Kurt Cobain, the lead singer of Nirvana, was a well-known heroin addict who shot himself nearly 20 years ago. Tonight, his hometown of Aberdeen is honoring him. South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson is live at the Kurt Cobain Day celebration that some in Aberdeen say should not be happening. Drew. Well, Dennis, how else would you celebrate Kurt Cobain Day than with the live, loud rock band? That's what they have down here at the Museum of History, where they're just about to unveil a new statue of Kurt Cobain. Some folks would like to hide that part of this town's history, but not the mayor. He says now is the time to celebrate this controversial rock star. I guess this is the bridge from, you know, that Something in the Way song. On the muddy banks of the Wishkaw River. Ah. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Kurt Cobain wrote about sleeping here. I definitely get the uh, the references now. Sammy Salahi lives in North Carolina, cool. but was driving from Seattle to Portland when he heard about today being Kurt Cobain Day. You know, I got flashbacks to high school when I was just listening to these albums over and over again from Nirvana, and I was like, you know, let me let me drive off and see. I'm sure there's some stuff in Aberdeen. But you have a tear coming down. And there's about to be a lot more stuff celebrating Cobain's connection to Aberdeen. On the banks of the muddy wish guy's going to be there this summer. Ultimately, finally. <laughs> Downtown will get a mural celebrating Nirvana. But not everyone here thinks of Kurt Cobain as a hometown hero. He was arrested for vandalism and trespassing here in downtown Aberdeen. He never spoke too kindly of the place. He was a well known heroin user who killed himself. Not exactly George Washington. We have been a miss for a long time, remiss for a long time, of not honoring him. Aberdeen Mayor Bill Simpson says he's never done anything as controversial as his Kurt Cobain Day proclamation. I've had 39 interviews. He says despite the troubled star's past, Cobain and his bandmates changed music, and that cannot be ignored anymore. And he admits celebrating the star might boost tourism, too. We hope this is just as big as Graceland, eventually. Town was the reason why he became what he became. Back on the muddy banks of the Wishka. It got me through high school. Sammy Sahali, who's a doctor now, says Cobain's influence has to be celebrated here. Wearing a lab coat and stethoscope and saving people's lives, you know, I still hear his music on the on the radio and I and I turn it up. So they've turned it up here in Aberdeen as well tonight. It's no coincidence that Kurt Cobain Day falls on Kurt Cobain's birthday. He would have been 47 today, and some of his fans here tonight think he would have liked the celebration. Live in Aberdeen, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.